Welcome to Make a Path Presents. I'm Ronnie Hayes, and today we're going to take a look at some awesome images from The Walking Dead Season 7. These are brand new images. They're promo stills that they put out on the official Facebook page for The Walking Dead. Now, they put out 25 of them, and I absolutely love these. Some of these remind me of the menu screen from uh, The Last of Us, the video game. I love stuff like this. Anyway, the first image... I want to discuss is this head looking like it's on a spike. Now originally I was just going to post these images on my Facebook page and make a couple comments on them. I only posted the one because it got kind of out of hand. I made the comment that it's it's too soon, you know, what the hell are they doing as far as why are they making a picture that looks like the whispers? Well, I meant that it's, you know, obviously too soon for the whispers to be in The Walking Dead. It's way too soon and uh, it got out of hand with people you know thinking is this the whispers is it not the whispers and I was like you know what I'm just throwing this in a video it's way easier to take a, a look at these and communicate clearly yes I do believe it is far too soon to put anything like the whispers in the Walking Dead storyline so this is most likely from the sanctuary which we know they use you know parts and bodies of uh, walkers we already seen it in the trailer so far but this also could be a different community this could be just a group of badasses like the group that Tara runs into this could be them and they're a little demented maybe they you know did this to one of their enemies it could be anything to be honest but my point is I know the argument goes round and round you know in circles that they're not going to do everything the comic does but certain things I feel like it's a must that's like saying you're not going to have Negan in the show that's just silly uh, but anyway yeah I was slightly disappointed I will admit though I love this image it is awesome uh, it reminds me of Game of Thrones <laughs> also from season one Game of Thrones fans will know what I'm talking about but I love this image I think it is epic and I'm actually really curious to see if this is a character that we're gonna get to know maybe just momentarily and then they die or or is this just some random character that gets the honor of having their head on a spike? I don't know, but let's start to take a look at some of the other images. I personally think they just thought this was a cool image, and they really don't care that it looks like the Whispers, to be honest. <laughs> um, but I agree, it's definitely a cool image. Anyway, let's take a look at the next image. This looks like uh, part of the inside of Alexandria. We can see a little bit of the wall there. And I'll, I'll warn you right now, the images get they get better. <laughs> Hang in there. Uh, this is cool, but it's it's plain. Next up, we see the outside of Alexandria. Now, to the far right, you see the names of people who died last season. But also to the left, it looks like they are rebuilding or patching up where the tower fell. Now, this wood pile here would be, you know, the old tower that has fallen. This image gives me the hopes that they're putting up a new tower as well as rebuilding rebuilding that section of the wall. Now, we, we already seen them do some of this stuff in Season 6. I mean, it, we didn't get a whole lot of focus on it, but again, I'm hoping this wood symbolizes they're in the process of fully rebuilding a new tower. I think that would be uh, pretty cool. You guys let me know if you take away anything else from uh, these images. Now, right here is an axe. Now, this looks like Rick's hatchet. At first, I thought they were going to do the something to fear, kind of like... Uh, the comic books where they showed everyone, well, six covers with six saviors holding weapons. One was Dwight, one was Negan, and then some random saviors like David and, and etc. So I thought they were going to do that, but this is probably Rick's uh, hatchet, it looks like. That's pretty cool. This one is awesome. I love this. Bloody footprints on the uh, road here. Now, this is just a cool zombie image, in my opinion. You know, something you would see in a zombie horror show. I love this image. Uh, this could be from something from Season 7. I would imagine it is. It's probably from an episode where something happens. Something pretty bloody. Either the good guys or the zombies walk through the bloody mess and uh, they leave bloody footprints behind. That's pretty cool. Next up, this is probably the kingdom, I would imagine. It doesn't look like 
any of the other communities. It could just be a building along the path while they're walking to the kingdom. I don't know. This is interesting. This is more like a creepy look uh, to it. It has a string tied to a door. I would imagine this is some kind of alarm system or booby trap. Maybe this is a building where someone's hiding out or this is just an image that looked cool. It looks post-apocalyptic, you know, it fits this world, but it's not actually in the story. And then next, this looks like one of the outposts or maybe even the factory where the saviors have made their main headquarters. We're going to see that again soon. This looks like Carol's making some food. <laughs> Listen, I like stuff like this. You would see this and you're like, oh, you know, this is dull. Move on to the next one. But I look at this and I see people living, existing, surviving during a zombie apocalypse. This is one of those images that it's truly underrated because this is a show about people living everyday lives in the post-apocalyptic, in the zombie world, you know, and I love stuff like that. Now, comic book fans are going to know what this is. This is the end of Ezekiel's cane, his sword cane. I think this is cool. I like this. Taking a close-up look at his sword cane. I love it. Next up, this has to be the Sanctuary, which is the headquarters for Negan and the Saviors. I am very excited to see uh, the story that takes place in the headquarters of the Saviors. I'm hoping it's going to be in one of the first four episodes, and I can't wait. This actually looks like maybe it's going to be outside of the Saviors headquarters because I'm thinking if it's a factory and there's offices in the factory and they turn those offices into into you know room and board for the people who are living there they most likely took the filing cabinets out they're just wasting space and they threw them outside so I'm, I'm assuming that's what it's from that or one of the buildings in the kingdom or maybe even the hilltop you know here is a fire there looks like there's something burning in the background now they could be burning one of their own I don't know if they do that at the kingdom but we saw Ezekiel was near a fire I can't make anything out of this if you guys can other than a fire uh, comment down below this is really cool this is actually I don't know <laughs> it looks cool and it's on the tip of my tongue what it looks like it kind of looks like somewhere out by a farm or where they have horses you know like one of those areas where they train horses I don't know it's real hard to tell I'm not I'm not you know a good country boy so <laughs> it just has that look to it but you let me know what you think this is you probably figure it out quicker than I could and again and this looks like the doorway in one of the outposts from the saviors or it's actually the sanctuary the main headquarters and here we have that head on a spike again really awesome image one of my favorites from this and here's some meat on the fence it looks like either a walker brushed up next to this we see a clothes on the ground some dirty rotten clothes it looks like a walker's body at the top of the left back there all blurry in the background and this might be the sanctuary they use walkers as uh, like a security system on the outside so maybe that's just uh, part of the outside wall that fence there and this looks like again it's inside at the sanctuary we do know if you're a comic book fan that a large chunk of this factory has random areas maybe separated by curtains and this is where the uh, survivors at the sanctuary the because listen it's not just saviors who are out doing what Negan wants there's also regular survivors on top of that who are saviors essentially but you know what I mean it gets complicated they're not leading these armies going and fighting they're just people who live there they they barter they trade they go on runs they find stuff they trade that stuff for food and this and that so there's other people living there actually at the uh, saviors compound so this might be a sheet separating the uh, different areas now this is pretty cool you have a child's shoe this is a really eerie image it gives the vibe of a community that started growing maybe they were teaching children in a fun way how to uh, grow plants maybe grow crops something small and whatever happened in that community it didn't end well it looks like it's not well taken care of just a cool post-apocalyptic image now we do know in the trailer that Ezekiel Morgan and a couple of the people from the kingdom 
go to this area where there's a barbed wire on top of a fence and here's a spear that they use at the hilltop and they also use at the kingdom too as well so uh, this most likely has to do with them going on a run and while they were filming in this area they took a cool image of the spear and here's another spear I like this this is just a spear tip and it's hard to make out what's on the table here if that is a table this looks like it's what a handmade spear tip so this is definitely from the hilltop I don't know if the kingdom has it now but it looks handmade and here's a really cool post-apocalyptic wind chime it's just a pasta strainer turned upside down and they have some old skeleton keys hanging from that pasta strainer that is cool now this reminded me of uh, terminus of the hunters how they carved the tree now their carvings were different it looks like an arrow representing uh, you know this way or leading the way over here so uh, I'm interested to see actually if anyone's gonna do this if anyone did do this it most likely would be a survivor right maybe they learned it from the people at the hunters they you know they knew that they marked their way maybe they decided to uh, do the same thing maybe it reminded them of what the hunters did and they decided to just mark their own path uh, but where are they going I don't know <laughs> now here's a trouble sign even before Morgan found a sign that says you are alive where he found the horse so maybe someone from the kingdom or people from the kingdom like to write on the signs like look there's trouble ahead do not come this way next up we have a truck now this looks like it's at Negan's first appearance where he's gonna kill one of the survivors one or two it would appear most fans are sure they're gonna kill two so uh, this is from that scene pretty badass and here we just have the Susquehanna River from Pennsylvania <laughs> I shit you not that's what it looks like in uh, some areas anyway this is just a river now I this is interesting this is really interesting I don't think they would take this picture if they didn't have one of the survivors or maybe a group make a run and make it to a river maybe there's a part of the story where they're traveling we saw that arrow on a tree we saw the head on a spike and then the river so maybe there is um, something we can pull from all these images where maybe the river the head on the spike and the c carved uh, arrow in the tree maybe that's from Tara's storyline Tara and Heath maybe their run actually makes it down by the river that we've seen in the trailer they run into trouble uh, maybe they run into other survivors those other survivors have a uh, head on a spike and uh, maybe they used a river to uh, escape I don't know uh, but I don't think they would take this picture uh, if they didn't film in this location because everything else we've seen in these uh, photographs it looks like those are locations they have uh, filmed at you know uh, all right so that's the end of these images uh, this is probably longer than I thought it was gonna be and funner than I thought it was gonna be and I think we actually pulled a little bit of information out of it I thought we were just gonna be like oh this is cool that's cool this is okay but uh, I like this video this is fun I hope you guys enjoyed it too if you're new here subscribe we break down everything that has to do with the world of the walking dead or at least I do my best if I have uh, free time to cover every single topic that's out there I will try so subscribe and please 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 feel free to let me know what you think about every single one of these images and if you noticed something we didn't notice help the community out and put your thoughts and opinions in that comment box I'm done talking it's your turn subscribe now